Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Um, basically what I'm doing is uh, programming on Python and developing some uh, uh, automated tasks or, or procedures, whatever you want to call. And in this case, um, I did a very basic uh, uh, example or uh, to calculate the number of bars required uh, in a reinforced uh, concrete rectangular cross section um, according to the Eurocode 2 in this case. Well, this is a very basic example, uh, but I'll, in future videos I will make uh, coding for other uh, civil engineer applications as well. Uh, and well, let's go uh, a little bit on the th theory behind this. I guess all engineers will be much familiar with the theory. Uh, well, let me go to Revit. And well, basically, what I did on Python is I did the coding, I programming uh, based on these four mathematical expressions. Uh, and it's pretty much in the Eurocode too, uh, or the even the British, British standard as well. It's similar. So what actually first in first, uh, as of, I mean the first uh, step was to calculate the value of k, whether the cross section is taking more uh, tensile uh, stress or compression stress. Based on that, obviously, I will de determine the lever arm so that I could calculate the value of the, tens uh, the tension still required for that specific section. But in this case, the, the coding I, I developed is just for a single, for a single uh, reinforced uh, cross section without taking into account the compression uh, reinforcement. In, in this case, we don't need that, but in practice, sometimes we need to reinforce the top section of this of this uh, of this beam. But in the next video, I will develop the coding for that. So basically, what I actually did is, if you go to uh, to be about the theory behind, is the value of k is a uh, is a relationship between the compression zone and the tension zone. Um, based on this, obviously, you would, for example, uh, if you, let me take a screenshot on it. If the value of k is less than 0.167, that means the cross section only requires uh, um, as a uh, steel uh, bars in the tension zone of the bin. If the value of k is greater than 0 0.167, it means that uh, the cross section is actually uh, requiring comp uh, the compression reinforce reinforcement. In that case, I will need to apply extra steps to calculate the compression. Uh, uh, reinforcement. But in this case, we I develop only for the case where k is equal or less than 0.167. So with that uh, uh, explanation, I will go to Revit and see the procedure so that before I run the uh, the, the coding in, in Python, so you're going to be familiar with these four steps um, on the coding. So this is the example I'm testing out. Uh, you've got a cross-section of the width is 230 mil. The depth of it is 550, which gives you the depth of 490. Without, I mean, taking off the, I mean, the cover, uh, stuff like that. I go here the value of the the material strength 
for the RC is 25 newtons uh, of uh, millimeter square. And for if for the steel, we go 500 newtons of uh, uh, millimeter square as well, and a bending moment of 165 kilonewton meter. So this is the if you do the calc if you do the calculation using the procedure manual procedure by hand, obviously you gotta get uh, if you use a diameter 20 mil, you gotta have uh, three bars for this uh, calculated uh, area, ten, uh, area. I mean the of reinforcement. Uh, so let's go to run the program very quickly to Python. Uh, well, this is Anaconda, Jupyter Anaconda. Okay, this is the coding, uh, the code I mean, sorry. So the cross section is, as I said, the width is 230. Enter. The bin of, uh, the depth of the bin is uh, 490, as I said. Enter. The bending moment of is 165. I'll make it so that gives me newtons meter millimeter so that how about to make it much more uh, uh, compatible with the yeah, units of the RC and still uh, strength so enter as well so as I said it is 25 the characteristic concrete strength 25 um, newtons per, per millimeter square the yield still yield strength is 500 so it's 500 and the commercial rebar well I could actually use diameter 16 diameter 20 or diameter 25 so in this case let me input 20 diameter 20 the value of p obviously that's three four so if i go to the output so i go a value of k equal to 0.12 the lib arm 431 the area of the bar is the yeah, unit i mean the one bar of 20 mil is obviously that the total area calculated for this bending moment in this cross section is around 800, 880 uh, mm2, which gives you, a, basically rounding up this, gives you three bars uh, diameter 20, which if you go back to Revit, you will see the, the example I'm testing out. I go here at diameter of 20, which gives you three diameters 20. Look at the area, it's 80 rounding up. If I go to Python, this if I run out this will be 80, the same pretty much with this. And I got the value of k, 0.12. Uh, let me go to Python, uh, 0.12. The value of the lever arm is also, what is, yeah, in this case, yeah. So, uh, yeah, 431 millimeters mil. If I go again to Python, it's 40, 31 uh, mil, mil as well. So basically, I haven't used any conditional or statements on this. Uh, 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 Coding, but in the next uh, video, I will use uh, a bit more, uh, I mean, logical expressions uh, using uh, to, uh, to, uh, to use in conditional situations when it comes to programming. And uh, uh, well, basically, my aim is to, in the medium to long run, to uh, get to a transition where I make Excel. If we know redundant, but be more out of out of fashion, I would say. 
Uh, to me, I think Python is a very powerful tool to automate uh, your tasks, whether engineering tasks or architectural tasks or even your office tasks. You could actually, by doing a bit of coding, you could automate. Um, you know, it's a. I mean, I would advise any engineer who is there to learn a bit of coding. I understand, but sometimes you don't have time but if you spend a bit of time on coding yeah you could be become a i'm not saying you're gonna become a software engineer but at least you'll have a understanding of coding you know not as, you could actually learn c sharp if you don't want to learn python but to me i find them more uh, versatile python and for different reasons, not only uh, to do data analysis, to uh, make calculations, uh, also to make some uh, addings for Revit, for instance, you could actually use Python, or even you could use Python to to, uh, to develop your own website if you are really, you know, well advanced uh, Python yeah, user, you know. Well, guys, I hope uh, if you want this code, I will create a, a, my account on GitHub so that uh, you can actually have uh, access to this, uh, this script. And I hope you guys uh, like this video. Okay, bye. Thank you.